What is going on guys? Thanks for stopping back here to the channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and get, and get down there and smash the subscribe button. But I hope you guys could hear that noise somewhat in the front end. I hope you could. I tried. It makes it more so in four wheel drive than two wheel drive. But that is the needle bearings in my U joints I'm pretty sure going out. So I'm going to go today and replace the U joints in my front axle and then um, this is probably going to be um, a multi, I'm going to try to do it all today, but yeah, it's going to be too long of a video to go and upload all one. So it's probably going to be three videos. I'm going to do the U-joints on the front axles. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put new brakes on it to try to get rid of all of the, as you can see over here, all of the brake dust and all that good stuff. I got some brakes to go with that. And then we're going to be placing the U-joints on the front axle, or not the front axle, the front drive shaft coming out of the transfer case to the front end. So we're gonna be replacing that too. Um, I'm pretty sure at least the front one on that one is bad. You got a front one and then you got two where it goes into the transfer case. Um, I'm pretty sure, and the front one is for sure bad. You can get underneath there and I can shake it and I'll probably show you guys in the video when I do that. You can shake it and you can hear it clunking back and forth. So that one's obviously bad. And then, um, the rear ones, um, I'm, if you want it out, you might as well just replace all three while you're at it. So, um, yeah, that's going to probably be the next three videos I upload. Front axles, one, brakes one, and um, drive front drive shaft one. So, yeah, guys. So, this is a fun process that was unexpected. But we were on a little trip, and I heard a noise, and we got back, and I checked it out, and I'm like... Sounds like U joints, and it sounds like in these trucks, U joints go bad from f anywhere from forty to sixty thousand miles. So that sucks. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into it today, guys. I'm probably gonna go ahead and try to give you guys a breakdown of how to tear it down and everything else um, on one side and the other side. I'll probably just time lapse the whole thing, zoom through it real fast for you guys, and we'll get them all changed. So we're gonna jump right into it here, guys. So if you guys would like a really good socket set, I use these every single day at work, except not in the case. I got mine in set up at work that I have them in, but I brought them home with me. This is a Nico set off of Amazon. I spent, I think it was $160 for this kit. This is the half inch kit. It goes from inch and a quarter to three eighths inch and a quarter to three eighths deep and shallow it goes from 10 millimeter to 24 millimeter and deep and shallow you got your swivel head you got a um, half inch to three eighths a ratchet three extensions i use this one every once in a while this one it's rare to use that one and yeah guys this is an awesome set about 160 bucks on amazon um i use this set every day i love it and then if i need to bring tools home like i just did today it comes with this beautiful case that you can Storm away in and carry them in. So yeah, I will put a link to that in the description below if you guys want to check this out for yourself. So before I even tear into her too deep, before I even get anything tore off, one thing that is the biggest pain in the butt, and I'm gonna go ahead and just take them off now before I even get started, are these little clips here. Just break them off, snip them off, anything you can. They're just to hold the rotor on. I'm gonna take them off and then go have to worry about those little stupid things again so get these things all tore off here
Okay, guys, I want you guys to hear this. They definitely, definitely, definitely need replaced. I'm just sitting here. I was trying to turn the wheel back straight so I can go ahead and pull the, or attempt to pull the hub off. I've heard a lot of issues. Sometimes people just pull the whole thing out because it's hard to get all of this out. But I'm sitting here turning it by hand. I went ahead and jacked up the other wheels so I could turn the wheels back and forth. And listen to this. Oh yeah, that's just me freehand turning it right there, boys. Oh yeah, the, um, get you some, get you some of that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that needs replaced. Oh yeah, we're so right there, guys. So this is why we are doing this today. Oh, so let's jump back into it. As you guys can see, I got it out, so that's a plus. And I have never done this before, and it took me... about an hour and 15 minutes to get it out, and that was with me never... like, I, I take a, I'll take a lot of stuff apart for work, but I never do U-joints, and I do, like, car hubs, not big truck hubs, or on diesels, so I'm not used to working on... The diesel is more heavy duty parts, so a lot of stuff was more stuck and all that good stuff. But it took me about an hour and 15 minutes to take it apart. Um, not too bad, guys, after that. And really, the hardest part was getting the hub and the brake caliper bolts out, which was surprising, but it was hard. So, um, yeah. So, and I went and bought this off of Amazon because I am a... Dodge Ram guy that's what I mostly always own so my thoughts are is if I'm gonna own a lot of these throughout my lifetime or if they go bad every 40 to 60,000 miles like they say on all of them um I went ahead and bought one of these they're about 130 bucks on Amazon I will put the link to that in the description below too um most of the oh boy excuse me most of this is for um most of this is for ball joints but all I'm going to need for the U-joint is the this and the thread end piece on it. So it's more like a, a specialty C-clamp, really. So I'm going to put her in the old vise here, move all the rest of my tools I brought home from work. And we're going to get her all pressed out and get the new U-joints installed in that side. So let's jump right into it, guys. <music> Okay guys, so this is one way to tell that you have a bad U-joint is when you take the cap off. Let me see if I can get you in a light where you can see. It looks like sprinkles. Yeah. Look, look on the workbench. I think they were a little bad, little little needed changing. So yeah. And then um I will show you guys real quick. To get those rusty C-clips out that I could not get, I went and put the drive shaft in like this, and I hit them up with a screwdriver. I didn't record that because I fought them for so long, and I still can't get the other ones out yet, but we're getting there. So, yeah, guys, that's where we're at. Sorry I didn't film that part, trying to show you guys every little step, but, but it's kind of hard to sometimes so yeah 
So we got that part out and moving on to trying to get the ones out of the other one, I guess now. Okay guys, so out of four of these, these two were sprinkles. These ones were getting there. This one was still good, but what, they kind of all fell apart once I pulled it out. So yeah, so this one was definitely bad. So I went and ordered all my U-joints from Rock Auto. I got Moog ones. Actually, there's actually five in a box. I already opened one of them up. It's laying over here. Here is my Moog one. I got the greasable one because online it's like 50-50. Half the people are like, oh, don't do greasable. Half of them's like do greasable because they said that non-greasable ones are weaker. I don't tow a ton with my truck, so I'm not going to worry about it. So I got the greasable one to hopefully not have to do this again for a good while, which with the amount of miles I put on my truck, it probably won't do, it'll probably be a good while anyways. But yeah guys, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this apart and start pressing it back into there. I'm going to clean the insides of these up a little bit before I go and press them back together and then we'll jump back into it. 